Yo, what up? It's Say My Name. Yo, what's up? It's Cream. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Tim. This is Blunts and Blunts. I'm Solomon King here. It's Black Tiger Sex Machine. This has been Trilvo. And you're watching Trilvo.com. 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 Trilvo. Disillusionize me, Captain. <laughs> Chill for Trilvo, and we are here today in Houston, Texas, with Bijou, aka Ben Dorman. He's about to rock it on the ABC tour at Stereo Live tonight. What is up, Ben? What's good? What's good? How's so, it going? Oh, I'm doing great. We just ate, by the way. We're at Rogo's Green. He made me take him to somewhere healthy. <laughs> I like that. Barbecue, like you do in Texas. Barbecue is bomb, but like, yeah. We're about to play a show. Yeah, I gotta play a show. Asleep. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I eat barbecue. I'm out. <laughs> So this is actually one of the last stops on the tour. Can you tell us about some of your favorite stops so far? Uh, Seattle's been amazing. It's crazy. I love that city. They show us a lot of love. Um, Avalon in LA was amazing. The whole tour's been great. But like for me, it was Phoenix. It's like hometown. That's hometown, you know? yeah. hometown love, you know, make it better. What's the music scene like out there? You are he is from Arizona, guys. Phoenix, Arizona. The music seems crazy and it's growing. They're doing like eight to ten festivals a year and uh, club shows every weekend, so it's really, really, really thriving right now. Okay. So what's it like touring so far with Angels and Sizak? It's dope. Uh, Is that how you say his name, by the way? Yeah, Sizak. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, got it right. <laughs> so uh, Angels and I have known each other for a couple years, so that worked out really well, and then Sizak just kind of fell in, and it worked out perfect. So we kind of meshed really well, and honestly, like, the favorite part for us is the back-to-back -back at the end. Oh, nice. It's, it's so much fun, because, like, you can get everyone's vibe into one. And then like certain sets will go more underground, certain sets will go harder, just depending on the city. What makes your style different? Um, Sizak is a little more underground, um, and it's kind of the labels, like Dirty Bird, Night Bass, Confession, that's kind of how we did the tour as well too, because musically it works out really well. It goes underground, then you kind of get commercial and underground in mind, and then Angel's a little bit more commercial. It's heavier stuff, more in the bass house, or mine's the G house, and then Sizak is Dirty Bird. Okay, so how did the tour, for the idea for the ABC tour come together? It actually came together with my agent, Rob. He was like, yo, what do you think? Because we were trying to figure out what are we going to do for the fall. He was like, well, I had this idea, the ABC tour with each name. And I was like, that's actually really dope. So it worked out well. So your style is particularly known for G House. Yes. And you also like to throw a lot of like trap heavy hip hop in there. What music were you listening to growing up and what actually helped you to fall into this style that you're going for now? I grew up on reggae, surprisingly. Yeah, for my dad. My dad like came up in rock and roll and like reggae and all that. But then like probably from an early age, one of my cousins showed me hip hop, Tupac, all that like the West Coast stuff and I was like yeah, I like shit. this. Yeah, that <laughs> shit. Straight up. And then uh, I was a trans DJ for a while, which a lot of people don't know. Yeah, I heard you used to be a candy kid. Yeah, I was. Peace, love, unity, respect. I was. Surprisingly. So that's how your evolution into yeah. the scene came. And then I was like, I always heard the hip hop thing, and I was like, well, how can I match how to the hip hop style with both? <laughs> Sharam J track, and I was like, okay. And then I heard Rondo by Torn Foot. Destructo played it in Hard Summer 2012 or 13. Uh, yeah, and then I was like, okay, this is how they did it. And I was like, alright, I'm on it. And ever since, just kept going. So, um, you've had the opportunity to work with some amazing artists, but if you could collab with anybody right now, who would it be? Vince Staples. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Vince nice. Staples. I feel like Vince Staples is like one of the most innovative, like, upcoming rappers. I feel like so exactly putting so. house music with Vince Staples on it would just be insane. It would be insane, I agree. Did you hear that the recent Destructo track where you put Yo Gotti on it, that yeah. house track? That was amazing. Loaded. But it's kind of like shows how versatile it, it is. Like house has been around forever. You can do yep. anything with it. Loaded. And that's like the old school G House sound you brought back. I was like, oh shit, this is dope. Really dope. Really dope. Shout out to Yo Gotti for your experimenting and getting on yeah. that track. Bro, the thing is too, like there's a lot more rappers that are seeing that side of things. So like, okay, there's actually a market here uh -huh. going outside of the hip hop world. So you've had the opportunity, I actually first met you at Middleland. And you've had the opportunity to play tons of crazy festivals now. 
Tell us about what's been your favorite so far. Your favorite experience at a festival or favorite time playing? Hands down, Paradiso. Yeah. In Washington, because like that's the one that has the view. It's the right? gorge. You have the gorge, you know, and it's like I didn't play main stage. I played. I think it was the second or third stage, but like both of them were just packed. So main stage is tight. From the crowd, you see the gorge. Mm -hmm. Where I was playing, I was like, all right, this is all for the fans. But I was like, all right, I get it today. I got to look at the gorge and the crowd the whole time I was playing. So it was amazing. And like, it was an early set, same as Middle Land. So I was like, I don't know how it's gonna go crowd-wise. And like both of them were packed. So I was like, people showed out for me in Paradiso. And it's like, that's why I feel like Seattle has a lot of love. Yeah, absolutely. That's also when you find that city that really like loves you and wants to see you come out. So I know a lot of artists can't talk about what they have coming up next, but 2018 is right around the corner. Can you tell us about anything they have coming up? So uh, I'm finally releasing the track with Lena Sanders from the ADC. Uh, Evan Allen's on that one as well, my homie from Phoenix. Uh, I finally got the Jerk feature locked in on Dim X, and that's coming out January 23rd. Follow up with Hello with Dr. Fresh will be in February. We got a crazy feature on that, which is huge. And then I'm working on some other features with rappers as well. So there's a ton of music coming out next year. Any rappers you might all be familiar with? I cannot say, but uh, I think people will be pleasantly surprised. Well, we're really excited to hear all that stuff you have coming out in. So we have one final question, and it's actually from a Trouble team member. Okay. And she wants to know, she says, ask him how long it takes to get ready every morning to look like a model. It depends, okay? <laughs> Am I doing my hair or not? Which I just <laughs> got a haircut today, so I'm gonna do my hair tonight. So, do it just my hair, because I blow dry it and everything. I'm it's so like, done. It's like 15, it'll probably take me like 45 minutes. The glam squad. It's not powder. that long. 30 to 45 minutes. It's not that bad. It's all natural. Oh man. Just tell her that. It's all natural. Same. <laughs> So Ben, that's all the questions we have for you. We're so excited to see you rock the ABC tour. Awesome. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Peace.